<laughs> First, I'm going to ask you when you were born, Uncle George. 1919, 4th June. What's that? You're 95 now. 94 now, Lord. Okay. Now, you want to tell us the story you just spoke about down the woods you were talking about? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, that's what the question is there. How many cord of wood did you cut with the box saw? Uh, uh, the box oh, saw. Right. Uh, I cut four quarter a day on an average, we say some days less and some more, but on an average give me scale around, roughly around four quarter. Yeah. Nobody else could top that? Nobody, I, uh, now I don't like to be seeing something brain over it. That don't ma make no sense to it. No. Because what you like, you like, and that's it. Well, all the woodsmen that work on the water and all the more easy and my house and have my own more easy. I work last night in Bill building and there were two brothers and there were two good men in the woods. Start by the side when they couldn't get over it. It was scaled there, huh? I say the fellas now can't cut that with a chainsaw. No, boy. Huh? <laughs> no. no, not likely. Did you ever use the axe when you were in the woods? Aye. Uh, yes. Yeah? Oh, yes. You had to top it up with the axe. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and you cut yourself. You didn't come out because you had a little scratch. Yeah, I got a story to tell Claire down the woods. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever have an accident cutting wood? No, my dear. Oh. Yes, I went me toe that time. Yeah. The tree come down on me toe, bend me toe on the stump. Yeah, that was only the last stump. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you never come off for that, no. No, no. 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 Yeah. yeah. The toe never come off before oh. you come off. <laughs> See, the box on, he was on up in the bush, you know, the big yeah, bush. He almost good come good. down <laughs> and put me on my hand, get you and he come out a little fatter, see. Now, I got the blade to come out, but the, the box saw, the round fighter was inside the stump, eh? Yeah. Along come Bill King and Harry Singer, two brothers, eh? And they put the rounds on around it, when he, and when he slipped, he broke out of me at the toe, don't throw young. Oh, God. And I come down, he ended up with three guns, the other left side. <laughs> but he's all there. <laughs> yeah. Now, got any other wild stories you can tell us? Stories, my son. It's, it's I'll, like tell you, that. I'll tell you this one now. I, I don't like to be hiding, hiding over stuff, you know. I could do this, I could do down that. What you can do, like anything, road. like education, like anything. What you can do, uh, what, uh, what's the big deal, make a, you know, big thing in hiding and say, well, I can do what someone else can do. You can't, yeah. you can't mind <laughs> what happened yesterday, but I'll tell you this one now, this is a good one. It tells the I never seen a father and mother before I went down to get her. They barely had. <laughs> and went down just for Christmas in the fall of the year, eh? Um, and she lived up shore over there, and that's where my father and mother were up there. We was up there. My father shift up where he went two years. So, anyway, he said, My father said, What are we coming down for the winter? He said, Yes, come down for the winter, boy. I said, I'm a clown now, not doing much. Because well, I didn't do much cotton wood in the winter, boy, because you couldn't over, no end and no. Couldn't do nothing with it, eh? Be snow banks and snowing. When the fire was finished, it'd be finished, eh? Yes, he said to be great for me, because he said, Now I said two brothers, but he was the only youngsters, they were small, 10, 12 year old, one of the oldest one of them. So, oh yes, I come down. After Christmas, went down. And no snow on the ground. And for 17 miles around, Port Salah Pine. All the people lived down there, depending on <coughs> working, in, working in the woods. They had all in mills, eh? 17 mills around Port Sire Pond. So I come down, and he said to me on the night, he said, well, Now he said, We got a bell apart on the house. Because he's usually married now. And he said, he, Well, she had two brothers, and she had girls clear then, eh? So he said, He had plenty of lumber, so we built a part on the house. And we got everything in the after Christmas. He said, we're going now this day, he said, hey, we're going to have a look where I've got to cut my legs. Well, he's been his lifetime, I mean, they, what the country was like, he knew all about it, eh? It so I went in and had a look around, and Bombay went in another place. Not, not enough legs there, he said, we'll go to another place. Went in and just let it light, no sort of a bark. And on that side, to the little brook around it, and went around. And on that side, there was not even one feel of legs, eh? And mostly for your timber, what you want, eh? Well, that's how he... He said, they were coming in one day of the week, so this one we got up, he said, we're going, no snow on the river. Went in. Now, we didn't know what I was like, where I was lazy or what I was, eh? 
it wasn't much of work. I wonder what I said. I'm going to over here. So anyway, went in. And so we walked out down there. <laughs> so he said to me, well, boy, boy, 10 o'clock, four come in. I looked over there to get the kettle out, went over. I said, Miss Glasses, what's a good day's colour? The boy said, you want to, you want to cut, you want to cut a lot of logs there, because this is a good place. A lot of logs there is the most viable timber. He said, if you can cut, he said, forty logs a day, he said, you'd be a good man to do it. Now, obviously, my prime to cut, you know. Well, uh, cutting pork wouldn't cut the logs, it's dim on everybody. Just eat your bags. Hey, yeah, that's all right. So, he said, now, he said, you got to stick them up, right? You can't, I got to stick them what I cost. That man, he was over 50 year old, and the man more out of it there. And I said, What's a good day, Scott? He said, you, If you can cut 50 lags a day, he said, Boy, you're a good man to cut lags. Because sometimes you'll cut a lot of lags, some more times. But he said, Some more times you'll cut a lot, a lot of lags. He said, You wouldn't cut no rust because you had a good place to cut lags. You got my out by a timber. But he said, you cut 50, 50 lives a day, he said, you're a good man. There's 17 men and sell a lot of men around folks out of here, boy. He said, there's a lot of good men in the woods. But he said, you're young and he said, you used to in the woods, let's see what he's going to do. So now he said, make sure when you stick some up, you won't blow down. Because snow gets on the way to him. He said, you're going to blow it down, then going to get all out some snow in. Because he was going to, I was going to cut them all away, and he's going to pull them in. All right, boy, yes, that's all right. So, anyhow, ball the kettle. He said, I'm going to start to stick up what I got now. It's about two o'clock then. I said, I think, he, I, he said, make sure I put something up. They won't fall down together full of snow. I, I think I'll go over now. Pardon me. I went over and pardon me. <coughs> Second morning, I took on my back to that tail line to the pole. My foot went up so old. And I did now on my back, where I break my, break my leg eh? The box I was there, and when I hold the log off, I hold the log on top of my box off, I broke her off. <coughs> I did the box off, it's just for the story, is it? Yeah. So, I stuck, stuck up my legs with her, and he wanted two more for 50. He said, I said, I got, I got, this is now, I said, don't cut it, if I does. Mr. Oscar, Mr. Oscar, the way you got, got done. I don't know why he said. I said, oh, me sat me, log on me back, where it would break me back, and hold the log on me, so I broke her off. He said, you ain't got to come down here to go break off. Box house, because he's had the boy. <laughs> he was going to remain whatever he's in his mind, and what he wanted to work with. He tell you, no keep anything back. I just thought that's right. Not, no, you couldn't go down there, you went to go down three mile to get a saw. In them times you couldn't go try for a blade. Probably only the one like, people living around here, look you get one, get money to go in one. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. anyway. He had the box out. I bought the box on. He had the box out. Signed that one side and stopped me up. Go far as I then. And the dad's <laughs> over. I was way over on this kind of was caught that way on around and he was over there. Dad's over. Never forget. He stood up like this, he stood up like that. You got to believe it, he said, see it. Yeah. He said, I got to believe it, see it. Boy, I said, this is it. <laughs> he said, how many? I said, boy, 200. <laughs> and the news went from that, the news went from that, three would eat the hell out. <laughs> well, that's about and he said, boy, there's a lot of men who work around Pope's house, pond, a lot of good men in the woods. What was never done around here and over. Well, I worked the same thing if I was hunting for myself in the woods, you know, boy. Yeah. Same thing if I was, you know, if I was cutting lines for myself, I cut myself, man. Eh? He couldn't get over. And that was the end of it. And men was down in Pope's house and then running me all the years after that before I got all. I could get a job. <laughs> <laughs> that was good country down there, boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But he was, he was fighting the war out then, so he went in all over, like yeah. all the people in there, but I suppose he was in the 60s then. But he was a good worker for his age then. Couldn't he just cut two hundred logs with a box, I mean, yeah. that's... 
Yes. Pretty good. Yeah, well then. Well, you get two what logs. Names? No power saddle. Well, you get two no. logs out of stick. Eh? You get two or three not, logs. Not very many. In the scattered morning. Yeah. But he slicks any limbs. He said to me, to a lot of small bottom see, when well, you wouldn't get the eight foot eight for the side of the tree quite a boy, that the each boy. There was a piece of frame, see? Yeah. It was left out. And he never, you know, that, that's what he used to do. And I didn't want the, the, the big logs there. Yeah. 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 There, and every now and again, there, and it wants to come down. They are dead. Tell a joke, uh, tell a story. Well, we, we were in one, one, one camp one, uh, <laughs> uh, me and the fellows in camp one year, and, and the guy was in the back. Uncle Linda and Harrison, Giles Langer, Bill Langer, he was going to work out in the house for a young man, young man, around 17 or 18 year old, eh? Young man, Uncle Linda, then to me. Went in, we had to put in our hours work. Same foot would be struck there, eh? Well, if he didn't make the seven foot length, well, then he was no good, but it was left under the top, and he had cut seven foot wood, see? So, when he was uh, in, it was 21 men of us, staying in, caught a bit of lake, get the lake to the tree, kick across, and take this road. Oh, that's up to, to the fuller state in the end, eh? And he said, you said, well, I'm going to come to Bill Langer and Jazz Langer. And there was Uncle Lake and Arson, while well, Arson was running, I say, it's 78 years old, that's all. And Uncle Linda looked out like I was myself now. Boy, look at him, but that he's in. As you know, of course, he's in his, he was in his six, sixties for sure, probably older. So we said, then we started to run on this way. <laughs> Uncle Linda's come over. He used to never talk with no one, so you know. The Jay's Langham was a son of the eh? But he said, boy, you ain't got two weeks to you. Jay Jim Bill couldn't hear you cutting your down in that face. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> That was a little solid. But when I started the first, now, I was doing good. There was a lot of houses, but big trees, big, big, uh, you fell out, eh? Big trees. Couldn't smell wood, but yeah. when you smell wood, now, it's for wood, you had to cut a lot of pieces for a quarter of wood. Mm. But beds are always best, so five foot ten and eight. You could handle a piece of wood pretty fast, eh? But seven foot and eight foot, now, you're going to have bigger tops, eh, boy, you know? You had a job of getting over to getting in your land, eh? Yeah. Never had the power, no, no human being. Some big heavy stuff. Eh? Yeah, some of that big old stuff, big logs yeah. in it, they were heavy. Yeah, so I was cutting in a, 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 a not even a harvest that time. Big old trees, trudatus. I done good for all that, but you had to watch it so well, you wouldn't string yourself a piece. Because you're allowing me to put in a log, eh? And then they get tangled up and you twist them in there. And I had to get, I had to get in that, that's the worst, but I never worked and turned over very much to know it. It's really a good place, not man working me so and says it's going to the wood. What's this, what's this I hear that you, <coughs> you never stopped to eat your lunch? Yeah, uh, <coughs> this fellas, this fellas in your hand, thought they, there's no one like them. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're going to say, well you can keep that, that that's a lawyer, you know. Yeah, you never know. Yeah? That's a, so, and I know there's fellas there, didn't like it because I was going to go for yeah. <laughs> no, but, yeah, but a lot of people say you used to be with some with one hand and eat your sandwich with no, the other. No, yes, lad, they talk that way. Right? You can't do that, isn't it? No, you're no human being in the world. You got to have two hands on the side. How's he going to keep out the box out like and you meet my house? Going to... My son, there's a lot, a lot of stories about him. Yeah. Down the woods. Well, so the, if you didn't tell them and someone else spread them, that's great. Oh, that's the trouble. <laughs> that's but great. I, I don't know why, I, I, I couldn't ever understand. Shut the distance. I suppose Pink C would have it. Honestly, Carlin, you know, then. To name and name and name and trim the paper to fix what he could do. Only one more. They were really shame with him. Get the water was going in, they'd go on the towers more and take his course from the in the sky. He had a ball up there. <laughs> Bill yeah. Shane, he learned it. He went to St. John, he learned it, learned yeah. it, learned it. Then he was a really educated man, eh? So that's like this. We brought a gossip with a lot of wood, but he wouldn't look after the, a lot of people, do you see? Except for the vacant place there. Catch the vacant place. Sign on it, brought up, and that was way over there, clear of his road. Didn't he? Yeah. You were, you were, you know what's all about it. How yeah. are, 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 are you, how are you, how are you, how are you, how are you, you know? I learned all of it, but I learned from my father a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's why, that's why we, that's why we, that's why we, that's why we, we glad to hear what he used to say, when he gets up, he's back. Yes, to the last story, Tor. Yes, sir.
Well, I know it's one thing you lived, and your sister died the other day. And I, I, that's... Aunt Lily, wasn't it? Yeah. Probably some people are gifted. She was a really gifted woman. Yeah. I can't. She worked up on Long, up on Long, Long Point, up my Aitches, two dollars a month. Two dollars? Worked different things. She worked in, <laughs> she worked in, uh, in to eat my tire. I think going on trial for a year, four dollars a month. Yeah. I guarantee you worked a lot of good women, young women there. Yeah. Uh, they couldn't get no jobs, eh? Yeah. But y'all... How, how many years do you think we were, we were uh, getting on down? Uh, <laughs> it's still on the go. How many? Huh? You're married for how long? Married 71 years. 71 years now? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Now June coming, we'll be married 71 years. What did you be married? And we we got almost a mini, almost when you say he ain't even all glued that he had 72. Yeah. He had 72 years. So I say you're going to beat them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, she can I don't, she can I don't know. Anyone. I don't know if we'll beat them now or be out. In fact, you never know if I can get my 95 now, but I think I'll stay in the next year and give me 96. Yeah. No, do you ever eat a swally? Eh? Do you no. ever no? No. No. That's the time people say that's when you get older, you know, that's oh, yes, what that's right. keeps you going. That's, that's what uh, my, my I don't know before he died, he used to have a every once in a while he had a yeah. little, little uh, he used to get a little flask. Yeah. I, I, I don't know about it, but when we are growing up. I say no. Mm. We never know about that was. Yeah. I don't know if it got anything to do with it. We knew it would learn that. So lots of men trying to run off stuff going on here. Mm. But I have parents. Never, uh, but I have to hope for them. We wouldn't need none of that yeah, stuff. Yeah. You weren't allowed to drink, were you? Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah, so I go around. We say I go around like a young fella and have a drink, but no such thing as any drink in, in, in theirs. Not in your house, but. No, I mean, my mother's house, eh? Yeah. house. But there's lots of it around, I guess. Oh, my dear, to free to go out around in the book. A lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like when you were growing up as a small boy? That's uh, pretty bad, pretty tough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah, in what way? Well, I mean, when you couldn't get no work for God, and then you were going to school, and then you, one thing you you had to keep going to school. But to tell, tell the truth, I wouldn't get educated very well because when I got 15, I had to go and my father and then all around the woods. So, how many, how many years did you go to school? Uh, this, uh, I started off with about seven years old, uh, small boy. Yeah, when I was 15, I signed on the father and I was And he looked at me, he was allowed to bring a son, 16 year old. And I went to bring the father, eh? So to talk to me and the young fellow there too, eh? So was D&D company, he'd be child. And he said to me, father, I all of you. got to be 16, he said, sign on, I can't sign on. Because I went with the company, anything out there. So he said he's 16 to 4 in June coming. And that was his name. Oh, he said, I don't even know him out there, son and I. Mm. I was 16 then, son and I. When I went to the party. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's, that's great. <coughs> What kind of things did you have to do when you were a boy, growing up? What kind of work did you have to do? Oh, I didn't even the woods cutting wood when you go to school. And, uh, in Saturdays, like that, you'd go out and cut a bit of wood, and probably you had to go out and boat, kill some birds, and kill some seals. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Were there any yeah. any stores here then? Oh, uh, there was two small, and the one small store. And there was a the man that lived there, he was on them too, up in Dickie Stevens. He, he died from the store there. Mrs. Flynn, she was married to a Flynn. Mm -hmm. And my father was living then, and he lived all around it. Yeah. 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 Hello? I haven't gone all the prayers. Then he need to get ready. And when he see me, father coming over, the hill, uh, Herbie John's father had a nice kind. Uh, Herbie John was small, eh? 
and his father was still living. Then they all gathered him, his grandfather's pearls, his mother's father ate. All gathered him, and him to tell my uncle, they just cook you tell the time, he'd look at him. Sorry. And then they kind of shook around. Now, I just go. Boy, could I almost really was a real magician on the 22. Yeah. But he had no part he could say. And that's for not too long ago, he spoke with that now. Oh, he said, I'm more as the father when he come over. He said, I'll be there. And she said, you get in the one of his uncle Ligda. And mm. sing her up, how could your father could almost make the grand entire. Well, Uncle Ligda used to play the chord in every Sunday after yeah, dinner for us. And we all sat around under our Who is that from Boy Richard, then he come out and sat down. Wouldn't it? Yeah. He used to say, now me lads, he said, I'll pay you, play you as a tune, he says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably, uh, there was no up the pan or no G. It was probably a, a boy with me or or a at the yeah. river or something like that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And you get the old pipe going in and he's just shaking in his boots. I can guess, I can guess, me, 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 grandfather's first, me mother's father. What was his name? Yeah. Uh, Moses. Yeah. So Moses, uh, his son Richard died in the war, was that? That's just one of the, the mother's mm. brother, yeah. yeah. I've seen the clothes, he's on own. And yeah. one of them with the two, two legs was turned back and saw it around there. And reached out, they've seen that. Legs have cut off, was it? Uh, uh, yeah. So he sent home his clothes after yeah, he died? Yeah, his clothes, yes. And uh, Gordon, I think, and the uncle, I mean, he, they did go and uh, watch. Gordon was a, a small boy. Going to the see? You get in the watch, and they had a nice one, and they had the, and they had the, the watch went out of that house after a long, long time. You don't know how, how, how where she ain't up with it. Someone, someone got, got it there, you know, the watch. There's only a small boy, wouldn't own enough to use her in. Mm. Yeah. What else did they send home? Yeah. Did they send home anything else from belonging to them? No, that's all. Uh, oh, yes, the, uh, I mean, mother, I'd give it to him, we brought it across, he had a picture with his uniform and everything. Rig, he's rig. Rig on? Yeah, that all moist and it got, uh, mother gave it to Gus, Gus with the door there, going up out of the place, you can see what he was going up the other. He's getting, uh, getting the picture. Yeah, yeah, just for us, he'd always get to uh, Gus the picture, I don't know, he's it now, we know his frame works into it. And go in at the watch, he's on. So I'm going, going in for years and then after a long time I got lost or something. You know where they're going for me. Chris Watson. Yeah. Did, did they send home a plaque, a memorial plaque or anything? No, I don't know anything but like that. No. But I'm too young, eh? I know they left me up, took me around and left me up and I looked at them in the... In the, in the That's... But oh, no, that was my grandfather, eh? What about his medals? Uh, Uncle Lincoln, they had so much. I don't, I don't know really nothing. Yeah. He had some things. Yeah. yeah. So he had well, My grandfather's boy, and I was my buddy, like I said, eh? But when I was a small boy, and, and he took me out, like a of salmon, took me out, and I looked at him in, in his box on the table. That's what I got. And that's my grandfather, eh? Yeah. No. So you don't know anything about his medals, what they were for, or anything no, like that? No, no, no. No. So I know that some of the Uncle Lincoln, the other mother, some of them have to have seen him, but I can't mention now what he was like there. Yeah. Yeah. And did you, uh, did you know about how he got injured or how he, he was wounded? Well, he was on the battlefield, that's what you said. Oh, there was there something to me, Pierre was talking about it eh? He was on the, ba on, on, on the battlefield. Right? That's how he come and get his legs to fall off it. The legs are gone, see? Yeah. 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 Yeah, they never signed, never signed him on, but he, he signed his clothes, eh? How they come his clothes and the watch. But I believe that, I believe that, I'm not sure, I believe Uncle Lignan, he ended up with the watch, I know, more than giving the watch, I know. I had a nice while there today to see Uncle Lignan, right around the time he showed me the watch. I saw no. The gourd was too small, so he could have used it to wear it, eh? No, I don't know what that person wanted to give it to Uncle Lincoln because the mm. gourd was older than me, and if you were a small boy, you were probably giving it away to use it or anything. I don't know what we call it anyway. Mm. 
Because they guarantee you we went over the fence right now paying for an hour inch down up there and no moved around. I know it kept my chase. You were going, you were going. Yeah, four times a day you went to four times a day. <laughs> yeah. What she said to me, mother, they hadn't ran us out. What she said, that was, that was it. Your mother was spanking me in one head, but your father was working. Yeah, so your your parents were well, considered Methodist back then? Oh, oh no, I no, no, my father was a United States. Yeah. This is my grandfather. This is my grandfather, Dale. Yeah. And he married a stringer. He was a very long bill stringer. Just like my team. That's, that's his voice, Dale. He was drunk. Drunk over there. He was trying to raise. Oh, yeah. You never know that, did you? No. You went up by the court. I was, uh, wouldn't mind then, because I believe it was, went by the call of the guy Smith and, and my father brought in my father there and so many done it, you can see where they, that's the same with Jack, he was old so up in Jim Square there, and he was out there cutting wood too, too, too young for that, eh? cutting wood now, birch wood, he go fishing, he got there by cutting birch wood, then he sat out in the winter, eh? Spurt by that joint when he go fishing. And then when he, he built a new boat through this one there, and when he was building the boat, I could dig the sea with all the soap on he lived on it too, before he died. And he come out and laugh when he was thinking, and I was four years old. And when he come in, he said, Morris, boy, you see you got good help now? I was keeping the plank out. Because you see them with the stimmers there, you went to someone else, get the plank out. He said, now, now, for so much here, get along. Yes, boy, he said. He said, this is my boy, he said, the last of this, he said, he's with me. <laughs> Every meal he eat when I got big enough, and you don't need to do it, I live one else, you live the other day. They had to be with him, Sundays. And what happened, yeah. he drowned? Well, the, the, the other night, uh, he, he, he had a big boat for fishing, in, and this was a new boat, right here, Scott, my boat. And the wind pitched off a living nearly. Now, I was buying that, eh? They just have wood vine because the morning water went over. I didn't want to sell with a big crowd over the beach. So he, uh, well, he left before Jack and, they, and, they, and Jack and he did was the tour or something he was crowded. Eh? Uncle Jay Smith was up and up the bend all over it. Got in a bit of bridge. Oh. And the wind picked off a little damage. And when he got down so far, look, you saw it raise. You know what the raise is. Eh? This is wood. He said, you want to let that, I let that boat turn bottom, a storm wind dripping water. And he kicked off and showed off. And he got in the paint room, there was his boat. Yeah, and he tore it around. And I was big enough then, I was come, coming up from school, Joey and Miss Smith, you know they didn't they? Sure. He said, Joey, you wouldn't see your grandfather no more. He said, no, when I went over from the beach park, it was an half a day. It was worse than sooner, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, so crying like. Mm. Yeah, that was the end. That's for you. Oh, yeah, and that claim his son, 14 year old, his first son she had, Charlie, because she was a real man on the camp, of course. Eh? So he, he drowned with 14 year old, he was. And the next day, it was never no similar. Down in flames and everything in the world. You know, the fortune's getting that ever. No. Bob. Sort of street balsam, three yeah. houses in Georgia's called. Yeah. Did I ever fish? Yeah. A Do you fit? know who they were? No, I don't. I know that. There was one old <laughs> soap port. There was a Max Bowson. I, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, a lot of work. Because they were way back there. But I know that the first I would say that. I believe it's related to Max Foster. Right? Max Foster and Dale Smith was brother and sister there. Eh? But I believe one was crippled, I. That's why <coughs> we are not crippled. Are you sure I got one leg? Yeah. He, he, I, he lived up there. I talked to the family Fitzgerald lived up there. No? It could be, but I can't mind that. Right? No, well, I know it's the Fitzgerald. The Fitzgerald there now. Yeah. But the known of that name, not knowing that. Then Dale Smith retired, and she was a boss in the line of soap for it, eh? Mm. That's a boss in Sister Now, Uncle Jim's house in Bolico, Yeah. he bought that off of one of the boxes and took it down and took it back up in Bolico and built it up. Yeah, that's right, yeah. 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 
I had Max Fife say one time there's not the things for us. Uh, yeah. And there were thousands of millions of ducks around there, eh? Fine boy coming to be floor duck. I mean, around that point, pitch free down around there where you were digging the sod. And he said, you put up the gun. He said, boy, where the gun? He said, what a shot. And boom, boy, bang, go to the gun. And this, was, this two fellows in the way back of the rack waiting for them to come in the docks. <laughs> And you fight the shell around them? There you go. Are you single there? Are you come out? Yes, he said. He said, you give us so many ducks. You see the shovel around the time you had a gun. I thought you were going to say, you got a couple of ducks throwing potatoes at them. That's what I'm waiting for the same. Yeah, yeah you, would, you would take that. Yeah. 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 Oh, green and Ian sitting with me for that, with me grandfather. I'm blind too. We need to let it come away with John and Uncle Sandy and over there and Uncle Lee Bernard. And the father that was put out a sling or off. Poor Uncle Lee, the boy, we used to go into it. Wasn't it? We used to all pile in the casino. Family, the people like it, eh? Mm. We was around, I count it religious people, because no way you couldn't see that bad guy in this room. It wouldn't be if it wouldn't come out of them to see it, eh? Well. No, my son. I'm going to the church and do it with a boys in the seat with my father when he prays. He's big enough to go. Yes, sir. And he could play a brother, I guarantee you. And then his father was sitting there, obviously, father was to be proud to see my father come on over the last year because he was a real magician on the time. Boy, he could really play a card. Are you still a player? Yeah, but not, not that good. No, but you, you used to play a lot, didn't you? Uh, no, not me, but. No, no, when you, when you, you know, in, well, in you... Well, I a little bit, but, you yeah. know, no. Yeah. The daughter, my daughter, when I was here. Daughter, yeah? Yeah, daughter played for six, out there when she was seven years old, it was yeah. like. Yeah. Daughter was a magician, and at any time you were a daughter. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, know, we, 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 we got to know, we got to know, what I know of, but we... Yeah. Uh, uh, George Seward in Gooseberry Cove. Now, George, uh, when you were growing up as a boy, did you play any games? Did you have time to play games? Um, brother, there's the only one that ever seen. He got a piece of wood and cut out the wood and got a telegram wire, you know, yeah? But the lights there, going through the place eh? And then he crooked up the end of it, eh? So long, then he put the other end. And he made two to get the wood, eh? Me, me to get on the farm, the others couldn't keep in. Skates. Skates, yeah, yeah. Skate. Skates. <laughs> yeah. That's what you're doing, yeah. In the winter? Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. Probably they made the line out of it. And uh, did you play any games in the summer? No. No, never have time? No, never had time, no. In the fishing boat? Yeah. You do less stop. <laughs> yeah. And Nellie, did you, this is Nellie's wife. Now, Nellie, did you play any games when you were growing up? No, the only thing I used to play was darts. <laughs> darts. <laughs> That's a phone I love that. Now, when you go to a time, you go to a... Phone ring. Uh, All right, George, what are you going to tell us now? Uh, every Sunday after dinner, there was no prayers in there, up the water cove. Yeah. The old houses. They all line up and go one house or the other, eh? Take turns. Yeah. And when at one o'clock passed, they keep looking at you. The boy, boy, my father, and what have you coming up? They all gather in one house. And you never read, my son. That's fun, I was there. And I'll do it as all enough then. There was no man in his work or play a card, and then about knee good. And I reckon. Who? My father. Oh, your yeah, father. Well, and your yeah, father so was... Line up, it used to line up, come on, those prayers in there. Yeah. Line up again, fence up there. John, turn the light on, never look. Yeah, yeah. And, you're like, and, yeah. and uh, your father was Mose, Moses, Moses yeah. Seward? Hey. Your father was Moses? No, my father was... Uh, oh, yeah, that was your grandfather, that was, was your Moses. Hey? Yes. Obadiah was your yeah. father, right? Yeah. Yeah. And he was good at playing the accordion. Oh, I am too. Yeah? You wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I can mm -hmm. know that kind of Lena... Lily the other day before she died, she wanted to come over and uh, sit down and play for him for her. Yeah. God, he could like a circle of cards, isn't it? Uncle Lee used to play the Yeah, yeah. And they do throw it all the time and now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Throw it all the time. So, it. did your father t teach you how to play the accordion? No. No, how did you learn? Learned on my own. Did Watching you? Watching my father. 
Yeah. Yeah. You taught what yourself. Yeah, what's your battle plan? So what kind of things did you play? I was playing Carlin, played the Moon Eye. Yeah. Played the organ. Did you play hymns or songs? Oh, oh, hymns, no. No, no songs. You weren't allowed to play no. songs? I don't know, we never, I never, I suppose to, to no sin to that, but we never did any no songs. No? You know, whatever we grow up, got in our own, or me. Yeah. That's for, you know, I'm growing up, eh? Yeah. And curse word, I never know what that was. No? No, my mother and father. No? No, sir, he brother. And then Lily and Lily used to do it the we had all the first them. Get the old Tommy and wash it all out for some of the shirts and now when prayers come they all over the soap, they all lined it up to get every one of them in Yeah. Sure whatever, don't let it work, can't get you a glove water, eh? That's yeah. right, yeah. Oh, washing tub. Yeah. Well scrum. Yeah, scrum. I told them the other day, I had, I had, uh, This is Nellie's voice. I had, I had eight, eight boys, well one died when he was two and a half months old. But I had eight boys. And I, if we go out to go to school, most of them, and when they come, when I uh, uh, they go to school, I put, bring in the old towel, nice old girl, nice towel. And four o'clock when they come out, I used to carry them out. And they know me. <laughs> but now I had sacks to bite out, and clothes and everything like that. I had a lot of clothes, see, uh, uh, eight boys. Yeah, it is. Going to school too and changing them one thing or another. Mm. So you had eight boys and how many girls? Three. Three, Three girls. I had nine boys, in, in fact, if one died when he was two months and a half old. Yeah. So I had eight, nine boys and three girls. Yeah. And now I'm not Rick myself, more than me Rick. <laughs> That's an awful thing to say, isn't it? Huh? Well, you know, it's, a, you know it's, it's good to be able to come here and listen to old stories yeah. like that. <clears throat> I remember you used to play the chord. Oh, we used, to, we yeah. used to do what exactly what you said. Come and line up by the fence and listen. I tell you yeah. this one. Uncle, Ed, Uncle, Ed, Uncle Ed, what? Oh. Tell you this one. Your father and my father and all them was I work mean. No such thing to do with easy. Not they worked out. It did everything, eh? Yeah. And this night, mother put us to bed with no supper. Yeah. You know what you've seen, eh? And a father was down there, my grandfather, a father was down there, and David come in today. Yeah. Yeah. Must have been no sorry. You want cheer here? Yeah. Yeah. And she, yeah. And she got down on her knees. My grandfather went out of And she prayed, Lord, to send us something to find. <laughs> Just imagine, eh? That was high, wasn't it? My father down all the in the woods. Yeah. Yeah. And when she got up, the old fashioned wood store there. Eh? She got up in Campora and it is Seba. You know him for poor Lager. Yeah. You know what we see here? Yeah. She come in with a stone flower. I said, you know what we never know. Yeah. And mother took the flower, mixed it up, bit of dough and mixed it up, put it on the flat top stove here. Throw the pancakes. She called us up and gets the lunch. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Well, I had the damn work. Eh? You had done it, but it seemed like everybody was happy. Oh, everybody was happy. Yeah. Everybody not, was happy. Not better than his now. Yeah. Everybody was happy, boy. He was content. Everybody didn't have no complaining, eh? You get your but I'll tell you this one. Thanks, Father, Mother. Yeah, yeah. She knew I'd reach a man or the house had always back, see? I did, did. Eight and nine in family, too. They had a big family, see? Yeah. And uh, I ain't worrying about things for that. And she knew you had nothing to get me. Now that was milk, not pictures, eh? So anyway, she carried down some flour and a pot of bread. And bone boy, in come the whole side. That was H. And we seen the bread on the table, and she said, You never seen none, she told me one once. You went along to the table and took the pot of bread. She gave flour to it. Broke it apart, got some molasses, put in between, smacked the other one out of the doors. She said she almost cried because no one the other two was hooping around and they never got no one, see? <laughs> yes, she said, because she was sharing the part of what she had herself had to give the woman, eh? Yeah. They had a big family too, boy. Yeah, the three daughters, they had 11 all together. And I lived up the ground one time, the front of the house, 
Mm. Uh, what I come out there and all the fence, got the derrick, wow, it's everything out of there. She said, I wish to lay, she said, you dig, dig up some money and dig up something. It wouldn't be laugh if you do, dig, dog up with your land ring like your last wedding ring. And she was gone for years. And then the phone up when you left that and done them up and sent it on the mainland. So I'm the way we had a lot of that. Dog up a ring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, no, yeah. she's taking 